Jill stands out in a lot of ways. I would say that her defining characteristic is just love. I'm just passionate about what I do, you know? So I love the kids. When my kids were younger and I started working in the classroom, I found that as a parent volunteer, going in and sitting with a small group of kids at the back of the table, and they would have that light bulb moment where they would understand or get a concept. At that point in time, it was, it was just what I knew I wanted to do was to be a teacher. She truly, genuinely loves people, kids, right? Other staff members. And as a result, she's incredibly patient and she's also incredibly interested in making a difference for her kids. I think the biggest motivation for kids is just a positive, positive reinforcement because all children need and want praise. And I think that's one of the, the nicest things is that we can do it through a positive reinforcement and a positive attitude instead of a negative attitude. She really works hard to integrate the entire classroom to make sure that every student, whether they're remote or in person, feels like they're part of the same learning environment. I wouldn't be able to do what I do without the support of our parents club and our principal and vice principal and my coworkers and the teachers around me. We've all gathered together and, you know, come together as a team. It's, it's not me, it's the team, you know and the kids, I have to say, <laughs> and the kids. They're my, uh, they're, they're the reason I do it, you know? I love the kids. Carlos has been teaching for six years. He's developed beautifully as a teacher. I think he's just gone above and beyond to get our students focused, to keep them engaged. I always saw education as kind of my way out I wanted to, to do more to then give back to that community that I come from. And the community that I teach shares of, they're very similar to where I grew up. One of the most amazing things that I've seen him do is build relationships with his students. He's incredible at it. Um, the students really connect to him. I try to first make a personal relationship, a connection with those students, just to kind of, we share similar backgrounds. So I kind of have them see that connection that if, me growing up, having similar background as to them, their parents have sharing similar backgrounds. If I was able to succeed, they can succeed. I believe that with the background that Mr. Perez has, he's also able to have empathy for our families and our community, and that's a powerful thing. What inspired me to become a teacher is, one of my grandmothers back in Mexico, she was like the local town teacher. Friends of hers, family members would send their kids to her to just kind of learn the ABCs, kind of learn to read and write. When I interviewed here, I had a sense that I belong, I need to be here, I need, this is a place where I can make a change. When a student believes and knows that you care about them and that they matter to you, they're willing to do anything possible to try to succeed for you. He has an amazing personality that just brings out the best in all of our students. Getting them to understand that we're here for them, we care, and it's not always about academics. It's how are you doing today? How can I help you today? And just know I'm here for you today. You matter. Mary is amazing. She's amazing. In regular times, she's been amazing during distance learning. I just try so hard. I'm, I'm kind of my worst enemy. I beat myself up a lot if I feel like I'm not reaching these students. I want so badly to get to know the whole child. And so I really put a lot of effort into things like class meetings and times when we can reflect on our personal growth and our growth mindset. Her passion for learning is just, it envelops the kids. They want to be part of it. They just crave the knowledge that she has to share. They like the one-on-one -on -one time that they get. We have more time to just discuss issues and talk about our problems. They know they're getting more one-on-one -on -one with me. She still wants to better herself to then share that with the staff or the school district and especially her kids. She goes and above and beyond for kids. The fact that with my little cohort groups of students, they have been happy. They've seemed comfortable with all the changes, with all the craziness. They're excited to be here. My classroom environment needs to be a place where these kids feel safe and comfortable or else I can't teach them. 
I can't talk enough about her without crying. <laughs> we um, really put a lot of, of time in the beginning of the year with emphasizing the mistakes are great things. We learn from our mistakes, we are a team, we help each other out, we communicate with each other, and those kinds of things I think really build a, a safe classroom that I think then my students are successful, and I guess that's then what makes me successful.